Happy New Year everyone and this is our last update for 2016 so yeah we were in the shop this week I didn't put out a video on Tuesday uh, but anyway this is the summary for this week so here's my little uh, uh, fixture that I created for uh, drilling the um, hinge pin holes in the fuselage for the doors and you can see it's bolted onto that frame right now and when I put this uh, rod through there it uh, lines up nicely so that, that was the goal basically and as you'll see in a minute the door gets put in the frame um, of the fuselage and then um, I rebolt that uh, fixture back on and then I have my alignment so I can uh, drill the holes in there and this is just showing again from the other side so that's all ready to go we'll see how it turns out and here you can see it's all in place and I've already actually drilled um, the first two holes so you, there you can see um, I had the drill bit going through there. It's a little bit difficult to get this camera angle because it's right up against the inside of the roof there. But it uh, worked out nicely. It didn't take much um, to drill through there. There's about uh, almost about 3 sixteenths of an inch of carbon to go through there. And here you can see I've got my second fixture ready and this one helps me keep the drill bit aligned as it's going to drill through the other side. So you can see I've got the bit, bit there ready to start drilling on uh, on the outside edge of that one and that one went fine too didn't have any problems so there's the bit there with a little extension on there so here you can see with uh, both of the holes drilled now and actually did a really nice job so it's a little bit dirty and dusty there but uh, anyway that's all done now so happy with that and with the door temporarily pinned in place you can see here's Keith uh, showing you how it works so just lifting up there and it looks a little low there right now, but keep in mind that the fuselage is sitting 10 inches lower than it will actually sit when it's on the landing gear. So um, the lowest point of that door, I believe, is 73 inches in the air. So it's unlikely you're going to bang your head on that unless you're super tall. And next up, we're working on the, the first of the wing skin molds. And so this one's going to be done a bit different. We're actually going to put a core in there so it won't have the layers of uh, heavy like we normally do when we're creating a mold. So it'll have just have sort of some medium layers and core in the middle to give it the rigidity. Anyway, you'll see more of that next week when we get to laying that one up. And we're prepping to lay up the second of the door frame. So that'll be the left-hand side door frame. So here you can see Jeff's put some black top coat in there so he can uh, create those uh, intensifiers for where the door locks are. And uh, same as what we did on the uh, right-hand side door. And here you can see it's filled in with a sort of resin cabocil mix and a little bit of uh, glass to hold it all together. And those need to be sort of popped out of there once they're cured and then and, and, uh, trimmed and sanded, uh, ready to be used when we're laying up the actual door frame, which hopefully will be next week. So then we'll have both door frames uh, done. And here Devin and Zach are just putting some stands on this mold that is the uh, braces that meet up between the aft bulkhead and the firewall. So that one will be uh, ready to actually lay up those parts shortly. And this is the upper uh, door skin for the right hand door. We decided to lay this one up because when we laid it up the first time we ended up uh, putting a little bit too much carbon on there. It was a little too heavy so second go around doesn't take long to do that now. And here's that one that the guys are working on so that's being prepped for laying up now. It's got the uh, just taped around the outside edge there so and also has the uh, tacky tape around there underneath that tape so we can um, vacuum it when it's done and this is the one for the um, ribs for the leading edges of the tank and the and the back of the door so that one's uh, getting core cut for that so it can be laid up and this is the mold for the leading edges of the um, of the wing that attaches to the door so that's basically getting ready to lay up it's just going to do one side of that initially And these are the molds for these floor braces that actually go sort of from the rear of the lower end of the door uh, to the back of the cabin and just add extra rigidity so those are getting ready uh, to lay up as well. And meanwhile all our test sample material has had time to cure now because we needed like a week to let it sort of uh, cure in before we could test it. So we've got these little samples now they are all cut up and we just have to bond them there to the FR4 and then bond the ones there for the glass to the acrylic and uh, then we let them cure for about another week, the bonding, and then we're uh, ready, we'll be ready to do our testing. So those are just getting bonded with this high sole product that we use to glue everything together. And here you can see they're bonded together and uh, there's the high sole there that sort of just dripped out and so you can see how that works. 
and again it's going to have to wait about a week now so next middle of next week we'll be testing um, these and you'll see that so we've done uh, ones for testing shear and ones for testing the t-peel so from sort of peeling from a different angle and the other ones are pulling sideways on there that's that one that you're looking at just basically testing the shear properties so one of the things I was interested in seeing is what the carbon looks like um, behind the acrylic when it's bonded to it because we're going to have the A pillar and the B pillar um, with the acrylic bonded directly to them and as you can see the carbon fiber uh, comes through directly there which is kind of nice and that last uh, clip there was outside and this is inside and what's interesting is you look carefully there you can actually see when you tilt this the carbon fibers actually appear to rotate um, anti-clockwise and clockwise as you're tilting it back and forth which is uh, really interesting. So um, we'll see how things uh, work out, but um, I'm happy to see that you're going to get this nice carbon fiber effect uh, coming through the windows and hopefully that bonding holds and this is how we can actually do it on all the customer aircraft. And here the guys are laying up those ribs for the straight tank and also the back of the um, leading edge of the wing that attaches to the door. So those are pretty simple, just a couple of plies there in the core and then a couple more plies. Um, nothing complicated and they're getting you know pretty quick at doing that and these are the ones for those door braces now uh, those being laid up and actually had time to cure so that was I guess the next day or whatever and as you can see came out nicely so they still have to be trimmed off um, but there wasn't any core in those it's just basically a straight up uh, layup they're fairly um, stout because they need to you know add some structure and here's Keith just prepping these molds for the back wall of the straight tank. Um, those are two part molds, so there's both of them there. He's just been waxing those up, and then they get bolted together, and they'll be ready uh, to lay up those parts. And there's the tank ribs, and they're uh, under the vacuum bag now, so um, looking good. Not too much uh, worry about getting those ones done. So the guys are sort of moving along quickly through the parts now, which is good. And meanwhile, these hooks that uh, for the door locks came in from the um, company that did the CNC for us uh, on the other side of the highway from where we are. So those are uh, 4130 chromoly, and they're pretty heavy, pretty stout, but that's what it needs to be to handle the pressurization on the large door that we have. Um, so anyway, there's, there's uh, six of those, three for each door. And you'll see in the coming weeks when we start to get the rest of the pieces and be able to start putting the inside of those locks together. And here's the mold for those uh, braces that um, made up between the firewall and the aft bulkhead. So that's those have been uh, laid up there now. And uh, those ones actually didn't require to um, be vacuumed because there's really no core in there. So they're just going to uh, cure. And then likewise, this one, the leading edge, the first side leading edge uh, of the door or the wing that attaches to the door. So that one's uh, been laid up in there. And that one didn't require um, vacuuming either. So see how that one comes out next week. And here the guys are just cleaning up those uh, tank ribs um, for the leading edge of the tank and the back end of the door uh, strake. And so you can see just peeling off the peel ply and the perf film and a little bit of breather fabric that gets sort of stuck in the corners there. And this one has now been released and you can see there came out nicely. So it'll actually be trimmed off back on that flat face that's sort of facing the camera right now because we only need about an inch and a half of flange and there's about two inches of it that I allowed for there um, but anyway Jeff will be rough cutting those soon and this is the uh, first of the rear walls for the tank um, for the straight tank and that's been laid up there or at least that's the start of the layup actually gets some core laid in there as well and then some more uh, carbon and here are those pressure intensifier blocks so they've all been popped out and trimmed off and sanded up and there's a couple little patches on there that need to be sanded again before we can use those but just about ready for the door and here's that uh, rear wall of the tank and so the, that's been finished with the layup and then under vacuum so that's the first of um, the rear walls of the tank done the other one still needs to be done and here's those ribs from earlier and Jeff just quickly uh, trimmed them around the outside edge. They still need to be cut um, cut back more um, because they need to be cut back onto the side flange. But uh, as you can see they came out nicely so uh, happy to see those done. And lastly I don't have anything new to show you but I did want to give you an update on various things that we're waiting on. So the company in California that we're waiting on the tubes for to be uh, cut um, unfortunately, you know, they're busy shop and they're sort of trying to fit us in, but we're supposed to, they're supposed to be working on them now and we should have those tubes back in the next week. 
and then uh, Mark's going to be able to finish um, welding up the engine mount for us and we should have that by, by the middle of uh, January and then we're going to be moving the engine to our shop so we can begin work on it there and also around about the same time Kyle should have um, all of the reduction drive stuff all the, the parts finished milled and be putting that all together for us so hopefully we'll have that um, in by you know the middle to end of January and with respect to the engine we've sorted out our problem um, with the high pressure fuel pump and we're actually waiting on a company up in Pennsylvania who's going to deliver um, the rotary fuel pump for us it replaces the piston one that is in the engine that we have which is not um, powerful enough for what we want to do and also too we're waiting on uh, the nose gear modification to be done and we're also waiting on uh, one of the other companies to deliver some more parts for the door locks and a couple of other different things as well sort of um, we did get our pressurization system in and I'll show you some pictures of that in the next video but anyway we we're still waiting on a bunch of things and there's a ton of things that could go right um, and things move along but there's also a lot of things that could go wrong and slow us down but anyway we'll see how 2017 works out thanks again for watching and uh, have a happy new year